Hi folks, Dr. D here again. We've got another great show for you this week. We've got Eric Moore, retired NFL football player, owner of Moore's Cafe. So stay tuned and we'll be right back. Yes, folks, this is Dr. D again, and the Diet Cookie is back. Southern Heritage has brought back the Diet Cookie. This great-tasting cookie can be a meal replacement. Just one cookie, two glasses of water, and you are full. I guarantee it. You will lose weight. You combine the Diet Cookie with the New Weight ton uh, Toner. You take one tablespoon before bed. This will cause your body to build the muscle, burn the fat. Call the number right now. Someday, an agency of the United States government will publish guidelines on what treatments work for acute low back problems. Well, someday is now. Other than over-the-counter medicine like aspirin, what did the government guidelines recommend? Spinal manipulation. And what was the only recommended treatment that could relieve symptoms, increase function, and hasten recovery? Again, spinal manipulation. As the leader in this form of treatment, your doctor of chiropractic wanted you to know. Hi folks, Dr. Demetrius Cadonius here, chiropractor and nutritionist. I've been a practice in Macon for over 10 years and have helped people with many different painful conditions. We've straightened out children's spines and adults. We've even helped professional golfers improve their golf game. We use the activator instrument and manual adjusting, so call today for an appointment. Dr. DTV, watch it, Fox 24. Hi folks, this is Dr. D. I just want everyone to know we do have a totally new show for you, but due to popular demand and request, we're going to repeat the show we did with Eric Moore and his mom's diet because everyone wants to see it again. But stay tuned because the second half of the show is all different, so we'll be right back. Okay, we're here again with Eric Moore. Uh, Eric, it's great to have you back on the show, man. It's a pleasure. It's been, it was really good talking to you about new things you're doing with your restaurant out there on Thomaston Road. Uh, that's going uh, hopefully really well and right on schedule for you. Um, we had just started to touch on, on a really neat, interesting thing that I wanted to do more about as far as um, you've excelled in your career. You've reached the top. I mean, you know, professional athletics. You've taken it as far as you can go. Um, and you've branched off from there into more business entrepreneurial things with your fish houses out in the uh, Ohio and uh, Chicago area, selling those and then coming here to uh, Georgia. Now, granted, you've been coming to Georgia for a good many years. Your wife is from Macon, correct? Mm hmm Okay. Right. Um, and you have uh, the restaurants in Atlanta and now in Macon. Um, but they all center all these things uh, from your career to your restaurants. They all have a basic concept that I've noticed is that you, you have a very um, kind of a strong opinion or ideal about health and your body and how to take care of yourself. And you're almost trying to share a little bit of that idea through these restaurants and, and through sports uh, with people. And I mean, exactly. you know, how is that? Well, you know, the same type of concept that I try to do to put together something that's going to be conducive to all walks of life. Uh, when you come into Morris Cafe, you know, you have that sports atmosphere, but you can also look at the star quotes. Then also okay. you can sit down and if you're a health conscious individual such as ourselves who occasionally will have some fried chicken wings. Yeah, once in a while, they're once fine. Once in a while, but they're we can fine. also order a hella dish, a, a, a double turkey burger mm -hmm. or a Mediterranean burger veggie burger or baked chicken wings and also get yourself an all natural uh, yogi daiquiri there you know you and still be you know enjoying yourself on so a you, night out so you can kind of be in a, a roadhouse or a, a grill steakhouse uh, exactly. lunch or eat or dinner cafe exactly. style and the idea is we don't always have to get the you know really uh, greasier items 
that uh, that we're used to in these kind right. of restaurants. And we come the years, and occasionally we get some chicken wings. We say we'd have that turkey burger, and you even had that. You even put some special grills in so that you could cook these things exactly, and even make them healthier and less fat, so forth, when you make them. Exactly. We have the black. We offer black and fish. Um, okay. Uh, I love black and fish. I'm a spice person. Myself. Exactly. Some Cajun dishes, oh, crawfish. Love Creole cooking. Um, we offer a whole different variety of, of things that for the, you know, for the individual who's not so health conscious, but, and also for the health conscious individual also. But still, so most things are, are still actually healthy and they're, they're good for you. They may be higher in fat. They're not at that 10 or 20% mark. They may be at 30, which is not a bad number if it's once in a while. But uh, again, I also like the idea that you have these smoothie drinks, the yogurt daiquiris and the mixed right, fruit drinks. Right. So you're taking the juice bar and the smoothie concept, which there's quite a few of those places exactly. around the country exactly. that offer just smoothies and maybe these little rolled up sandwich kind of deals, which are real good, but you've added a complete menu along with those items. So not exactly. only can they get a smoothie kind of thing, which is real healthy, um, you know, you can you can eat the fruit and the yogurt in there, and uh, some people like vitamins or even some herbs added to it. And you know, maybe in time we'll see you do that in your place. <laughs> we'll see how the demand goes, exactly, right? Exactly. There you go. But um, again, it comes back to to your idea of what has been good for your body. I know when you were tell us now when you were younger in training, you know, you weren't always in in this awesome shape that you're in now. What? Tell tell me a little more about your your training and your habits? Well, pretty much is when my whole idea and ideology of, of, of health and diet changed when I was on my way to college. And my strength coach, Coach Lee, um, had taught me, changed my diet totally. So it wasn't just, even though you were strong, you were working out with the weights and you were running, that wasn't enough. You that needed, wasn't enough. I mean, you still, you can't do the weights and the exercise Without the without the diet changes, exactly. if you want to excel and exactly. really make your body perform the best that exactly. it can. Exactly, and that's so important. I tell everyone you have to have the proper diet, eating the right foods, and uh, rest. Exactly. And rest. If you go back to the old uh, when Mike Tyson first came back home, mm -hmm. and I use him as an example, and if you looked at every muscle in his body was so defined, his trainer, a guy named Gilbert Davis, had said. This is what happens, and uh, Gilbert is around 57 years old and looks great. Okay. And uh, he made an idea that said, now, this is coming from, with the proper vitamins, the right diet, and rest, what your body can look like. And if you look back at the pictures, I mean, every muscle in his body was defined. Yeah, he, was, he was. He was just ripped. He was an awesome ripped, shape. Ripped like a razor. So awesome that gives you the, you know, the idea that anyone can do this. And see, everyone listening to the show, I don't want them to think that they can't look like uh, a Dr. D or, or someone who just works out, you know, all the okay. time. I don't want them to think they can. With the right diet, with the proper diet, uh, they can do a lot of things. And then plus, then later on in life, with everything else that they do around their life, it makes it a lot easier because you have self-discipline. You feel good about yourself. The, the discipline you that you, you do in your diet and your exercise just overflows into your business life exactly. and your personal life. Exactly. You know, you, you get, you get uh, you're disciplined and you're clear and you're focused on things and it lets you communicate better. Exactly. The habits that we learn of things that we eat and exercise just really overflow into the way we communicate exactly. uh, with others because we learn how to communicate with ourselves first. Exactly. And then exactly. we can communicate with our spouse and get that 70-year marriage. That's you know? right. And we learn to communicate with other business people so we can um, go through the proper steps of opening and, and maintaining uh, a successful business and, and balancing business, family, uh, children, all this together to make, to make a, a well-rounded, successful life. I mean, success is not just all health or money uh, or a good marriage. It's all of those things. You've got to have all those pieces to have truly successful lifestyle so that when we're 80, 90, hopefully, I hope to look back at it from 120 and say, you know, it took me a while, but I put all my ducks in a row and I feel like I've accomplished something. And healthy living, preventative medicine, uh, chiropractic, herbal medicine, uh, allopathic or normal mainstream medical medicine when it's necessary, all these things fall into, but they can, uh, the word medicine even gets away from things, it's prevention. You take care of yourself and you can get the results in any part of your lifestyle that you want 
And Eric, you're, you're, a, you're a standing, you know, a fine example of that. And I know you go around and uh, a lot of uh, the youth and the adults, heck with the youth, a lot of us, you know, us armchair quarterbacks are out there, you know, looking at guys, you, uh, guys who are actively playing or have played and going around. And that's, that's a bit of a responsibility, but it's one that you seem to carry quite well. And, and again, promoting your idea of healthy living and rest and not abuses in anything, whether it's too much partying, too much poor food, too much alcohol, and of course we're all, you know, we're all quite aware of the, you know, the, the anti-drug campaign that uh, the professional athletes uh, are all, most of them mm -hmm. anyway, are trying to uptake. Granted, there's a few having a little trouble out there, but <laughs> exactly. you know, we're all human. We're all human yeah. and we're trying to do our part. That's right. And that's real good to see. Now just a word, you know, I get a little bit on diets, question on diets. Now, diet is a four-letter word. You know, that's a bad word, diet. We don't like that. But actually, diets can be okay if they're used short-term. As long as anyone who goes on a weight loss program is doing it with the understanding that they're going to eventually evolve and do something to bring them to a behavior that they can do for the rest of their life to stay fit and trim. Uh, if a diet helps you get to that point so that you can eat healthy, that's a great thing to do. And I'd just like to bring up, Eric, you have a diet that you got from a physician at the uh, hospital in Birmingham, and you got that for your mom, who's right. diabetic. Right. But this is a regular diet. It's not a diabetic diet. And she was going to go in for surgery and needed uh -huh. to lose some weight uh -huh. a little quick uh -huh. uh, to be adequate weight for the surgery. And it worked really well, and she's had great results since. Tell us a little bit about this diet. Got it right here. Well, how the diet came about for me, uh, when my mom was going in for some surgery, and uh, she needed to lose, you know, a little bit of weight uh, in a short period of time. Okay, this so, is this is a, a three-day diet. It's it's three days on, three days off, and you alternate it on and off for approximately a month. Um, just kind of looking at the foods that are on the diet, it is an actual strict diet and it's based on food combinations or a chemical process exactly. to accelerate fat burning but maintain protein. And what we want to do here, it's, it, like I say, it's a modified protein diet, but there's a lot more carbohydrate in here, which to me makes a lot more sense as a nutritionist mm -hmm. uh, than the uh, ketogenic or the ketosis type diets that have been popular for the last uh, few years many women going on them. Um, just as a note, long-term protein-only diets are actually dangerous. More than three months, they've been shown to cause gallstones. Uh, gallstones not only hurt like heck and make you lose your gallbladder, but if they do get in the wrong place, a stone can block your pancreatic duct, cause your pancreas to back up, and if that's not dealt with in an emergency situation, it can be fatal. So uh, protein diets, strictly protein, for longer than three months are dangerous. Uh, I'm glad to see this diet here that Eric's brought with me. That's why I want to share it with you folks out there and that it is not just a strictly protein diet. It's a modified protein diet. It has some good carbs in it, enough to balance it and make it safe to use. Otherwise, the physicians at the hospital in Birmingham would not be recommending it. But uh, tell us about your mom and how, how did she lose and, and how did she do with it? Well, I would tell everybody this. Uh, results would vary, but it's stated you know, on the diet itself that you lose 40 pounds in a month. In a month, wow. Yeah, my mom probably lost 20 pounds in a month. Okay. Uh, you could lose an average. So of, everyone's metabolism varies much a different. little. But I mean, from her personal experience, she lost uh, five to seven pounds in a week. A week on the know, diet. On the diet there, and now it's been a year and a half later, she looks great, she feels great. And her and surgery went well, of course. With, uh, yeah, no complications. God. She was None. a better. And, so, and now a year after surgery, year after dieting, She's actually gotten rid of her bad habits, which the diet helped her do. Exactly. And she's, she's taken a little more of her son's uh, advice here, maybe, <laughs> and, and got in some healthy concepts. Not fanatical, but just good common sense eating, nothing in extreme. And she's maintained her weight mm -hmm. loss. And I'm sure, it's just, does she exercise? She do yes, a little definitely. bit of activity? She definitely got to be in the exercise program. We have a, a nice exercise program set up for that she does. And mm -hmm. Now, is this just working. walking, or does it encompass a little, some hand she dumbbells some, at home, maybe? She does or? water, wor uh, water the exercises. Water, the water aerobics. Water I have great. quite a few patients at the local uh, pools doing the mm -hmm. water classes mm -hmm. for exercise, and I'm seeing some phenomenal results. That's right. That's right. Um, 
they're not just for older people. Many times for heavier people, water uh, aerobics are a great place to start because it's easier to move. When you're heavy, obese, it's very hard to move, and that's a good place to start because you can't go in the gym when you weigh 300 pounds. It's, it's physically uh, hard to move. It's embarrassing. The water gives you a good start and gets you trim a little so that you can then get in the gym and really do an accelerated program. Well, like, we're about out of time right now. I want to thank you again. It's a pleasure. Okay. If anyone's interested out there, we have uh, the diet that Eric has brought here for us. And that will be available. You can email me at drdtv at aol.com or send a self-addressed stamped envelope to Dr. DTV, P.O. Box 2006, Macon, Georgia, 31203. Everybody have a great day. Don't go away. We'll be right back with some more tips and a great show. Stay tuned for more Dr. D TV. Someday, an agency of the United States government will publish guidelines on what treatments work for acute low back problems. Well, someday is now. Other than over-the-counter medicine like aspirin, what did the government guidelines recommend? Spinal manipulation. And what was the only recommended treatment that could relieve symptoms, increase function, and hasten recovery? Again, spinal manipulation. As the leader in this form of treatment, your doctor of chiropractic wanted you to know. Hi folks, Dr. D here again. Are you taking an herbal product and wondering if it's safe? Well, I've got one that totally is. It does not have any of the dangerous stimulants that can be dangerous for people with heart condition, kidney trouble, or autoimmune diseases. This weight loss product is totally natural it's from a company called Incredible Products in Tampa, Florida. Call the number on your screen and order it today. You too can lose weight 5 to 30 pounds in one month. Guaranteed. Hi folks, this is Dr. Demetrius Kadonis again. I'd like to take a few minutes today in the show and go over uh, an exciting event that's coming up for myself and some other doctors in the area as well as for really Macon, Georgia. We've, got, we've been um, actually requested by the Chinese government, the Ministry of Health, to go to China and actually teach some of their medical doctors uh, chiropractic. Uh, the other doctor that's leaving from Macon with me is Dr. Lori Euclid. She's a chiropractor over on Gray Highway. The five other, six other doctors that will be leaving are actually doctors from Michigan. So we're quite honored that we're the only doctors from Georgia, let alone both from Macon, that have been asked to go on this trip. We'll be leaving um, May 19th, be returning on June 3rd. I should have a lot of good footage we'll show you on the show to show you actually a chiropractic missionary trip in that we're going to be adjusting a few thousand Chinese uh, province villagers out there. Uh, we have been asking the local business community to make donations to fund the basic travel expenses. The government has been real helpful and China has uh, done a lot to help us and give us some really good top accommodations at very reasonable cost, but we do have to fund some of this through our own organization and our efforts. And uh, I am requesting anyone who'd like to make a donation to call the number on your screen below, leave your name and your phone number, and I will get back to you just as soon as possible. Um, we're lucky in that today, we've got a few of the business people that have already uh, wanted to make a donation and to support this ambassador trip. This is an international thing. This is going to put Macon on the map, let alone Georgia. Uh, we have some of those sponsors uh, from the community with us here today. And gentlemen, I would really like to thank you for your support of this China trip. Um, it's helped putting Georgia on the map, let alone Macon. We have Grant Hughes from Gold's Gym of Macon. They've been a really big sponsor of uh, Dr. DTV, and they've gone the extra mile, folks, to actually support this humanitarian effort to spread chiropractic to other countries that are not as familiar with it as we are in America, let alone Georgia. And we have Bobby Hornbrook.
Bobby, I'd like to thank you, thank you kind Dr. of Dave. twice. You're here for your company, Alpha Concepts and Cooling. You have a wonderful device that fits on an air conditioner and will cut people's bills in half. And it's the only one like it, and it's patented, I believe, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And um, you're also representing uh, Senator Bob Glass from Alabama. Mm -hmm. And he is uh, on the Southern Heritage Cookie he Company. He was apologetic that he couldn't be with you today, but he's really behind your efforts and thanks okay. you for going where we can't go. Well, again, the, the diet cookies are a wonderful product, and we've done a lot with them here, and uh, I feel too really good about promoting them. And again, I'd like to thank Senator Glass and yourself for, you know, trying to go that little extra effort and support a uh, passive humanitarian effort, especially in light of all of the political upheaval that's occurring around the world right now. It's, uh, you know, it's good to see a health care mission trip like this. And again, I want to thank you both. Thank Grant, you. Thank, thank you, you very much. Bobby? Thank you, Dr. D. It's been great. Thank you. Hi, folks. Dr. D here again. Are you taking an herbal product and wondering if it's safe? Well, I've got one that totally is. It does not have any of the dangerous stimulants that can be dangerous for people with heart condition, kidney trouble, or autoimmune diseases. This weight loss product is totally natural. It's from a company called Incredible Products in Tampa, Florida. Call the number on your screen and order it today. You too can lose weight five to 30 pounds in one month, guaranteed. We're here today with Mike Holt, Bibb County Sheriff and participant in the Macon Fire World Olympics, I believe. Is, is that the correct title, Mike? That's correct, it's the World Police and Firemen's Olympics. Okay. And now uh, you've competed in this event before, right? Uh, right. I competed in Calgary, uh, Canada in 1997. Okay. Um, I took third place in my weight class in that event. Okay, awesome. Now this is, this is an Olympics. This is people from all over the world, just like the regular Olympics that all of us are familiar with. But it's just sponsored by a different organization, right? Well, that's correct. Then it's um, police and firemen and uh, public safety officials, officials from all over the world. I understand. I know, I know here at the show, in my office, we're trying to give you guys a little support and sponsorship uh, to get you. Where are the games going to be? They're in July, correct? Right. They're held in July, and it's going to be in Stockholm, Sweden this year. All right. So you get to go to Sweden. Nice country. I've been there. It's, uh, it's a very beautiful city, Stockholm is. Okay. But today we're going to talk about working out on the bench. We're going to do a little flat bench with Mike. Um, we're going to go over. Now, Mike does a powerlifting routine is going for strength and size and gentlemen Mike tell us a little bit a powerlifting routine what is what is that okay well the most important part is um, like your equipment okay first of all the spotter that's one of the most important things as far as when you're um, preparing to do any powerlifting or, go. or benching anything like that okay and the equipment you need your weight belt I use one and most power lifters do, mm -hmm. and you need your wrist wrap, so that's just optional, but I use it to give you wrist support because that weight is real heavy. So now I know when I've dealt with people with injuries, uh, bench pressers who've actually hurt their shoulder, one thing we've done is we find that when they're benching and they get real heavy, is that because they let their wrist bend too far back, it actually moves the pressure kind of from the, the joint kind of onto the, a weak part of the joint to the front. And we've actually found by stabilizing their wrist that the weight at this point comes down through the arm much more um, at a more stabilized position. And it takes away from shoulder injuries. So a lot of shoulder injuries of the bench press are actually not caused because your shoulder's out of shape. They're caused because of poor biomechanical position between here, this joint or this joint, or even in the neck. And, you know, that's where chiropractic comes in. You know, we've worked and adjusted these folks as well once they've recognize they have a misalignment or a poor technique and they've we've got to straighten their technique as well as get that joint sized back up okay we're going to go to the bench now and do a few reps and show the folks at home what we can do all right folks i'm going to be mike spotter remember he said that's one of the most important things that's me haha -ha. okay but seriously mike here's going to go over uh grip position wide grip close grip or what is a good grip for bench so, Mike, cover that for us. Okay, well, what you want to first do is sit, you know, get you a good, solid position on the, on the bed. You want to have your feet flat on the floor. You want to lay back. Oops. Oh, that hurt. All right. You want to get your arms, your, your hands about shoulder width apart. And then what you want to do is push off. Okay. Right up. And now your spotter is basically just above you here. He's watching the guy do the weight. 
He should be a little familiar with what the lifter can handle. And you see, I'm not really doing anything. If we were getting to a heavier weight, my hands would be under here, but they would not really be touching the bar. If he gets in a little trouble, I would give him just a little finger touch, just enough to get the weight up. I would not jerk it out of his hands, just enough to help him with his rep. Now this, of course, is a warm-up set for Mike and me, so we're gonna go on here. Awesome, all right? Now I'm gonna come in, do a couple warm-ups. Again, when you're warming up, the purpose is to get your muscles and your brain coordinated so that it is ready to handle the movement and, uh, and it knows that a uh, heavy amount of weight is going to be put on that muscle that you're working so you don't surprise it when you load a real heavy weight on. Okay, now we're going to go to the heavy weight. Okay, we're now ready to do a heavier set. This is 315 pounds. This is uh, getting close to my maximum. It's not anywhere close to Mike's, of course, but we work up gradually and increments of anywhere 10 to 20 pounds per side. So that'd be like 20 to 40 pounds total on a larger lifter when you're going for a power workout. All right, Mike, let's get started. There you go. Now as he's lifting, we're gonna actually do the heavier weight and we're gonna be doing less repetitions as we move up in weight. There we go. Now it's my turn. Like I said, folks, we're getting close to my maximum. That's all we're going to go over here in the show today. I'd like to uh, thank Mike for me if he gets out of his wraps in time. Good luck in those games, and Thank we you. wish you a lot of support. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. We'll catch you next time, folks. It's been good. Hi, folks. This is Dr. Demetrius Kedonius. I'd like to just take a second of your time. Um, right now, currently, there's an ambassador trip to China where me and another doctor, Dr. Lori Euclid, have been asked to go teach their doctors about chiropractic and adjust a couple thousand uh, Chinese villagers in some of the rural provinces with their MDs. If any of the local business community could support this, we would really appreciate it. We've got some donations, but we do need more. So call the number if you can make a donation. Call it now. Yes, folks, this is Dr. D again, and the Diet Cookie is back. Southern Heritage has brought back the Diet Cookie. This great tasting cookie can be a meal replacement. Just one cookie, two glasses of water, and you are full, I guarantee it. You will lose weight. You combine the diet cookie with the new weight tune, uh, toner. You take one tablespoon before bed. This will cause your body to build the muscle, burn the fat. Call the number right now. Part of the coolest club in town, the Notho Gang. Okay, this morning. Pretty so good far. thunderstorms yesterday, and I, yeah. we had a little short wave come through, kicked off some showers and storms, even a couple severe storms out towards mm -hmm. Lawrence County and Washington County. I was umpiring baseball yesterday. I was supposed to umpire the Bullets game. I had okay. to say hi to them. Everybody said they'd be watching today, so hi to you guys. Their game was canceled oh, last no. night. Oh, no. Good okay. thing about it? I still got paid. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. Will they have a double header next time? I was or really just... worried about it. I don't know, but I probably won't have to umpire that one. So okay. uh, anyway, it was a lot of fun. We got the first game in. Second game, due to lightning, we did not play that. But some uh -huh. areas got some very heavy rainfall. So uh, we had some good thunderstorms. No, no thunderstorms today. However, take a look outside right now. Live shot at Tower Cam brought to you by MakingMotorCars.com. Um, things looking okay for this morning. Clear skies outside right now, 55 degrees in Macon, 57 in Warner Robins. 
96% relative humidity, the barometer 30.03, that is on the rise, and our winds right now are calm, 524 storm track Doppler radar, nothing to show you this morning, and that's some good news, just a little couple specks out there, but there's no rain to speak of, and we may see a shower or two down to the south and east today, but I don't expect too much in the way of rain today, nothing like we saw yesterday with those popcorn variety thunderstorms, wake up weather today, sunrise 55 degrees today, 87, partly cloudy, nice warm day, and then sunset tonight, 82, and partly cloudy as well, and again, about a 20% chance of showers and storms, yesterday we saw quite a few, so so uh, I think maybe some more storms in the forecast for tomorrow and into All Thursday right. and Friday. All right. We'll talk about the seven-day in a few minutes. I'll tell you. Thanks, Doug. Right now it's a couple of minutes past 7 o'clock. Let's go ahead and take a look at our top stories. The alleged triggerman in a murder case is in jail today. 22-year-old Robert Knox of Fort Valley is at the Houston County Jail, charged with a deadly shooting in Warner Robins. On Friday, police responded to the shooting on South 5th Street. Authorities found 31-year-old Antonio Laney in the front yard with multiple gunshot wounds. He was taken to the medical center where, where he later died. Shortly before midnight last night, uh, officers were called to a South 5th Street address in regards to a man who had been shot. Uh, we transported him to the hospital for treatment. He was sent to uh, medical center in Macon where he later died. Investigators were called to the scene and uh, by 8 o'clock this morning they had uh, Robert Knox in custody. Police still don't have a motive for the shooting. Accused killer Tommy Bell was in court Monday. He's charged with murdering his wife then dumping her body in a field in Houston County. Police reports show Vivian Elaine Bell was killed on July 16th and her body was found two days later. Pre-trial motions and opening arguments get underway this morning. A family burned out of its home is hoping for help from the community to help rebuild their lives. Now this was the scene Sunday on Hawkinsville Avenue. An accidental fire that started in the kitchen caused heavy smoke damage to the home. Those who lived in the apartment have been forced to move out, and at least five children are among the victims. If you'd like to help out with clothes or other necessities for the family, please call the number on your screen. It's 738-0552. There are still no arrests in a fire investigators believe was started by an arsonist. An abandoned structure on Pineview Avenue in Macon was fully engulfed in flames when firefighters arrived on the scene late Sunday night. No one was injured in the blaze. In Gainesville, the mother of three young children faces charges for allegedly leaving them in a Hall County motel room. The 37-year-old woman and her boyfriend reportedly abandoned their children because they didn't have the money to take care of them. The children ages 3, 8, and 9 were found when the oldest son called police. A Mary Persons High School teacher is under arrest today, charged with sexual battery. Authorities say 28-year-old John Bennett of Forsyth was charged on Friday with sexual battery regarding the alleged improper touching of a female student. The incident is still under investigation. Three members of the Nawabian Moors are spending time in jail until they agree to allow a Putnam County building inspector to tour their 476-acre village. County officials believe the Nawabians applied for one type of structure permit and then proceeded to build another type of structure. Thomas Chisholm, Claude Turner, and Henry Torres were found in contempt of court for not allowing the county access to the group's property. The judge ordered the three Nuwobians to pay $1,000 in attorney fees and remain in jail until the property is inspected. Macon Mayor Jim Marshall proposed a 10% tax cut in his fourth and final State of the City address. The mayor says the budget is balanced and the city's financial condition is solid. He also says jobs and savings are up while debt and crime are down. These are all reasons why, according to Marshall, the city can afford the 10% cuts in property taxes. Uh, our savings are up, our debt is down. It's something we all ought to be happy about, and I think it's something we can afford. City employees will also receive a 3% standard pay raise. The proposed city budget for the next fiscal year will fall just under $74 million. That's a 1.1 increase over last year. In the next legislative session, Governor Roy Barnes is turning his attention to child care. 
The United Way, along with several other private and state organizations, are coming together to push their idea of better child care for every baby in Georgia. The coalition believes the first three years is the best time to mentally stimulate children so when they become older, they'll become better educated and productive adults. Like me? Just like you, Am Doug. I productive? You're pretty productive, as far as the weather goes anyway, and that's what you can tell us about next. People were very mad at me yesterday. Because? They said, you didn't predict this, and if they watched the show, the temperature outside right now, 57 degrees, pretty good day outside around the Megan area. I'll let you know what to expect coming up next in your Fox 20 forecast. Fleetwood Homes and CNH Housing have joined forces to finally give manufactured home buyers the very best in price, quality, and service. For the past eight years, CNH Housing has established themselves as leaders in both sales and customer service. CNH Housing of Perry has beautiful, spacious, and luxurious Fleetwood Housing with a one-year, five-year warranty. Come see what Fleetwood and CNH Housing have to offer, where land home packaging is made easy at our new location in Perry. Hi, welcome to our Union Furniture. Many people are asking for a new look, a new change, a new attitude for the spring. So we've put everything on sale. Every living room, every bedroom, every dining room. Like this beautiful pillow soft sofa and love seat, both pieces for only $7.99. Buy it today using Union's easy in-house credit or lay it away for only $10. Union Furniture, caring for Middle Georgia families since 1912. Get a great deal from Bell South. $20 cash back. Honey, now there's an easy way to get all the calling features you need. Oh, it's for me. Could you use caller ID? They need that. That. The trainer. I'll call later. How about call waiting deluxe? Then you'll know who's calling even when you're on the phone. Call 1-800-733-0513 today to get the Bell South Complete Choice Plan. You'll get $20 cash back and be entered in our terrific ticket giveaway to win tickets to fun local events. The vet, finally. Talk to two people at once with three-way calling. Just get the complete choice plan. All the features you need, local phone service, all for one low monthly rate. Call today, get $20 cash back and entry into the terrific ticket giveaway. But you better hurry. This offer ends May 31st. Good, good dog. Honey, go sit down. Are you talking to me or the dog? If you see news, dial star 24 on your Bell South Mobility cellular phone. Fox 24 News, where your news comes first. And good morning. Welcome back to Fox 24 News in the AM, everybody. We're looking outside this morning, and we're looking at a pretty nice morning out there. If you're driving to work, conditions are very nice right now. We're looking at clear skies around the Macon area. Temperature about 50... Pop it up. Seven degrees out there, but that's what the temperature is outside right now. Take a look at your forecast for today. Looks like this. We're going to see a high temperature of about 87 degrees with partly cloudy skies. Winds out of the east at 5 to 10 miles per hour. A slight chance of a shower or storm today. I don't think we'll see too many of those around the area. Maybe some down to the south and east of us. Maybe out towards Savannah along this road right here, I-16 out toward the Savannah area. So, if you are traveling, don't expect too many problems out there due to rain for today. Not like yesterday. We saw some pretty good storms out there yesterday. So, people had to take some precautions. A lot of heavy rain out there as well. 63 in Atlanta, 57 in Alma, 64 in Valdosta. So, what we have around the state right now, well, we did have some showers and storms. You can see those in the first couple frames right there. And again, that was that low pressure area I was talking to you about. Real little low, and it has now makes, made its way off the east coast, starting to fire up some storms out there. And maybe later today, we'll get some wraparound moisture from that, maybe some storms in the east. Tomorrow, however, this is going to intensify, and we could get a little bit in the way of some cooler air and a better chance of showers and storms there as this next storm system continues to make its way slowly to the east. These showers down here are going to die out fairly rapidly, and they are down towards the south and the west of our area, down towards Louisiana. Some very heavy winds down there, and they had some heavy rains yesterday in Houston. I'd like to take you to uh, some video out of the Houston area. We're